Hey, what's up guys, Mudar True Good Development. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add an electrical box to a ceiling that's already finished. So you can add a light fixture like this one. Let me show you how I get it done. Okay guys, so the first thing you wanna do is set up your tarp here. There's gonna be some debris. Next, you wanna figure out which way your joists run, either long ways or sideways. In my case, uh, we're running sideways, so I'm gonna drop my electric box right in the middle there. This is the electric box that I'm using. These uh, electric boxes have those rabbit ears, so once they go up into the ceiling, uh, those ears will um, hook to the drywall. Okay, again, we're gonna put our electric box right there, and then we're gonna run right down the joist. I'm going to pull down the crown just a little bit so that way I can cut and move my wire behind it and down into the uh, power supply. Uh, this current single gang switch operates one of the outlets so we're not going to terminate that. What we're gonna do is switch to a two gang uh, box and uh, we know the joist is, uh, is the stud is sitting right there so I know I have room right here to cut that drywall, add a two gang, and then do the wiring, and we'll have two switches. Guys, if you don't have crown, that is not a problem. All you need to do is cut out a corner section of the drywall that will expose both the stud and the plate at the same time. That way you can drill through it and uh, run your electric wire. First, you wanna find the center of the room. That's where the light is gonna go. So you measure across and then you measure long ways. Next, you wanna go ahead and cut out the caulking from the crown whenever you're removing trim. It's a good idea to do that so you're not pulling on the drywall. So do that all across the piece of crown that you're gonna pull down if you have crown. Once you remove the caulking, you wanna go ahead and locate the studs uh, as well as the uh, ceiling joists. I use a magnetic uh, stud finder here and once you find that that's where you know you can go ahead and pull. I use a pry bar and I gently pull the trim. Uh, again be careful not to uh, dent the drywall when you're doing this so it's really important to find the studs. So you find them mark them and that's where you know you can pull uh, without having to damage the, uh, the drywall. So do that uh, pretty much all across the piece that you're taking down. So here I use also a hammer just to kind of walk my way through gently. Now that I have the crown removed, this is where I'm going to drill so I can go down to that electric source. So here we're gonna drill a hole right into the wall and then pull the wire, run it across, and then we're gonna drill into the ceiling somewhere there, and then go across. You can see there's some damage from, um, from the pry bar, but that's okay, because the crown is gonna cover it. So again, to recap, wire is gonna go up in and come out of the wall. It's gonna uh, run across the crown. Then it's gonna be a hole in the ceiling behind the crown, and then we're gonna run that through the joist. Okay guys, remember those measurements that we took earlier to find the center? Now we're basically gonna transfer them on onto the ceiling to find the center. Uh, also, what we're gonna do is once we make that measurement, we wanna ensure that we're hitting a joist cavity and not a joist. Again, I'm gonna use my stud finder and try to locate those joists and make sure that I am uh, center to those joists. If I'm not, and if I'm hitting a joist, uh, then you know, we're gonna have to move that electric box a couple of inches. Uh, and here it looks like I lucked out and I'm right clearing the joist uh, just about. Uh, next, you wanna measure uh, the diameter uh, or the circumference. I'm also gonna use a compass to uh, reflect that measurement onto the ceiling to get an accurate cut. So go ahead and measure the diameter on that electric box, make sure that you account for the lip on those boxes. It's about a one eighth uh, or a quarter inch. I usually take a quarter inch just to be safe. And adjust that compass to uh, reflect that circle. 
Finally, I use my uh, drywall saw just to cut the drywall. Notice I'm not going all the way in, uh, just in case there are any hidden surprises in the in the ceiling. And of course, uh, there was a surprise in the ceiling. Wait for it. Wait for it. Bam! There you go. You got supply pipes running through the joist cavity when they're supposed to be anchored to the joist. Here I'm trying to figure out if there is anything else in there that I should be aware of. There was some metal brace in there. This, and that's about it. The saving grace here is there is some wiggle room in those pipes. So um, hopefully it will work out. I decided to zip tie the pipes together onto that metal bracing that was there. And hopefully that will keep everything away from the electric box so here I attempt to do that and in full disclosure that did not work the pipes kept sliding back down what worked was using a piece of 2x4 I did that off uh, camera I was super frustrated at that point needless to say uh, but anyways that worked I just jammed that in there and that pushed the pipes up full disclosure again uh, this is my property. I felt fairly comfortable pushing those pipes without causing any damage. Also, I do have uh, all the plumbing uh, tools uh, necessary in the event uh, a broken pipe or any other damage were to happen. I'm very comfortable fixing it. So if you're doing this and you come across some piping, uh, just proceed with caution. Now that that's out of the way, I went ahead and uh, fished uh, put my wire my fish wire through that uh, joist bay and then um, hook up my 14 gauge to it and then we're just going to pull it out the other side and here you go so this part now is complete next I'm going to use those staples to uh, staple that uh, same wire tight to the wall uh, so we can hide it behind the uh, crown we just go ahead and tap that in a couple of spots Next, uh, we're gonna expand, uh, again, going from the single to the double, and I'm using those um, old work uh, electric boxes. So here, we're just gonna measure for how much we need to cut out of the wall. I use it as a template, and just make sure uh, you trace it correctly, make sure it's nice and level. I kinda just eyed it, it's a small area. Trace it out. Sorry, that was a little off camera there. And then notice how I don't go all the way out, right? Because you want to keep those, you want to keep uh, the, the lip of that box uh, outside so it doesn't go in the wall. Here, again, just checking that there's no power. Cut the wall out. Now on to removing this switch because we're going to need to move that whole box out. I suggest also taking a picture of the wiring. Uh, that way, uh, just to ensure that you get everything back right. It looks like uh, they pigtailed off of the supply. So pretty much I'm going to be doing the same thing. Use my pry bar just to uh, you know, pull, the, pull the box a little bit off the stud. Make sure you don't damage the wall in this process. They're, these are usually nailed onto the stud. So all you gotta do is just pull, pull, on, uh, pull on that nail and get it loose. Once it's loose, then you just pry it right out. Here I'm pulling all the wires out so I can remove the box. On to more fishing. This time, we're gonna go top to bottom. Make a hole in the wall just like we did before, and then fish your wire down. Notice how I cut that wire there because we're feeding a new wire up and over. And now we try to pull that wire out. Once you have it out, you're gonna splice it with the wire that we cut. Now, I know all the electricians are now up in arms screaming about using a junction box. And yes, you are right. But I felt fairly comfortable splicing these things using wire caps screwed on tight. I'm going to tape everything tight. In addition to the staples, this thing is not going anywhere. Here's a look at the final stages. 
And there you go. I installed the two gang uh, new box in and just to go over the wiring real quick so this is my new switch on the left the uh, this pigtail is going in from it to the power source and uh, once the power comes through and switch up that will, wire will feed the light got all this wired up put my plate in so again I got this guy, that's the original switch. This is the second switch that's going to be controlling our light fixture. Uh, off camera, I went in and put my electric box in there. Again, more of the same, just fed the wire right through. I haven't spliced or done anything yet there until we get the light. And now I'm moving on to basically prettying up the crown. I'm gonna putty fill uh, some of these spots, caulk everything. I'm gonna clean up the ceiling and the wall here and I'll show you the final result. There you go guys, this is the final product. I still have to clean up there a little bit, but I just wanted to show you how everything ended up looking. Of course, here's the light fixture. There you go. Guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. It's the only way to support it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. See you guys on the next one.